Hey everyone, welcome back to the A10C2 Quick Start Tutorial Series, where this time we're going to take a look at how to add and edit waypoints using the CDU. So the CDU can be accessed by looking down here, or it can also be accessed by going to the CDU page. This will just be a direct repeat of what's down here. So first off, let's say we want to enter a new waypoint. Currently this has the waypoint mode selected, but let's just say we're in nav mode. To go to waypoint mode, we either look down here and click the waypoint button, or we can use the upfront controller by pushing function and then three, which is the waypoint button. This gets us to the waypoint page, and from here we want to edit waypoints, and so you push the OSB here. Now here we have our current waypoint selected. This is waypoint zero, our initial position. And we've got the various data from it. Let's say we wanted to add a new waypoint. For example, something that uh, the JTAC has given us a nine line for, or something a buddy has read out, or something you've got pre-briefed that just isn't in your uh, menu for some reason. So let's just take an example, something we want to add down. So let's go to uh, the F10 page. We can look around. Now I prefer having the game set to the UTM coordinate system because this is the one that JTAC will give you by default. And so it's just easier having everything set to this. You can uh, switch between the different modes when you're in the F10 menu by pushing left, alt, and Y, and it will cycle to the various latitude, longitude, coordinate modes. We just keep doing that until we get this UTM set up here. And then wherever your mouse is pointing at on the map, it will read the coordinates there. And so let's get the coordinates of, let's say, this rail bridge right here. So position them mouse over that, and I'm just going to note down those coordinates so that we can enter them. Okay, so to create a new waypoint, we push the OSB next to this button here with a question mark. So this is adding a new one, and in this case we're going to be adding waypoint 3. You can see this is now reading that where number is waypoint 3, and it gives us a random uh, designation. What we need to do is enter our information here. Let's start by entering a name for this waypoint. Let's call this our target waypoint. Now one tip that I have is instead of messing around pushing these buttons down here to enter data, is you can bind them to the keyboard. And really the best tip that I've come across for this is just to bind them to the normal letter keys on the keyboard you probably have almost everything mapped to a HOTAS as it is. Any other functions you need on the keyboard, you can always add a modifier to. This way you can just type freehand uh, on the keyboard to enter the data here. So let's say this is our target coordinate. So I'm going to type TGT for the target and push the OSB next to the name. There we go, waypoint three is now target. Now I can see here the coordinates are currently in latitude longitude mode. You can absolutely enter them in this mode if you want to, but since the JTAC will give you the nine line in the UTM mode, we can change that by going over here, pressing the OSB next to L slash L latitude longitude to change it to UTM. We can now enter the first part of the coordinate system, which in this case is our a grid zone. So we can see here that we are in grid zone 37T. One note on the Caucasus map is midway along the Caucasus map on this line here is the divider between 37T and 38T. So if you're getting JTAC coordinates and they seem to be from a large uh, distance away, do just check which side of that line you are on. You can do that here on the map just by pointing over roughly where your aircraft is. You can also double check using the TAD. If you look down at the TAD display, again, change from latitude longitude mode to NGRS mode. 
it will give you your current location in the UTM uh, GRS uh, display format. So we can see here we're in 37 Tango. So we can just confirm that we don't need to change it here, just in case we did. For instance, if we're in 38 Tango, we would enter 38 Tango. Enter it there. Let's just change that back. 37T now. So we've got the correct overall grid reference. We now need to enter the specific coordinates. And so the coordinates that we have from before are golf golf two two nine four three seven four six zero five. Now we just need to enter that by pushing the relevant OSB next to the coordinates that we want to add. There we go, we've added our new coordinates. Okay, so to select the waypoint, easiest way is to make sure the HUD is soy and push the data management switch up and down to cycle your waypoints. So here we go, we've got waypoint 3 TGT. We can see it's over there on the rail bridge. Incidentally, if you don't enter an elevation coordinate, it will by default take the elevation that is on the ground level for that. So if you want to enter a waypoint in the air for some reason, you can absolutely do that. Just enter the altitude in feet and push this USB here. For the vast majority of the time in the A10C2, you're going to be engaging ground targets. So you can effectively just ignore this. It will automatically enter the altitude to match current ground altitude at the coordinates you've put in. Now, if you ever need to edit a waypoint, we can do so. We just need to select the number. So let's say I want to change waypoint one. I can push one on the upfront controller, push the OSB next to the waypoint number here. This brings up waypoint one. And again, I could change any of the settings here. So for example, let's say I want to enter new elevation of ground level, I can push zero and enter that there. And there we go, waypoint one, instead of being at a few thousand feet, is now at ground level as well. What you can also notice here is that since we've created a new waypoint, the next waypoint in the list is four, and so we can just continuously add waypoints as and when we need to. One final little note, just for time saving, is you can enter the name of the new waypoint. So let's just call this secondary and then push the OSB next to the question mark. We will automatically enter whatever was in the scratch pad as the name. Can save a bit of time. I generally just don't bother and just uh, enter that separately. Uh, normally just because I don't remember when I'm in the heat of trying to add things in. One little note is if you can't seem to select your waypoints that you have manually added and you're only seeing the ones that were in the uh, selection by default, it's likely because you have this switch here set to the flight plan mode. If this is set to flight plan, you will only scroll through the waypoints that were entered in the flight plan. As you can see here, we can still have edited these, so I've edited uh, MSN 000 to have that zero altitude, but this is going to skip any waypoints that I have subsequently added in flight. To have all your waypoints shown, you need that set to the mission point and your page set to the other point. Otherwise, that's all you need to do to enter waypoints in uh, the A10C2. If you have any questions, please do just leave them down below. And otherwise, I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, remember to be kind to yourself and everyone else. Cheers.